freshmen multimedia students welcome to another brilliant tutorial by me Mr. Chief. Uh, we are going to go over some options on how to do our voiceovers for the Pecha Kucha presentation. Uh, that's the last piece that we're at. We've already converted to a PowerPoint presentation. You have 20 slides hopefully that are graphically interesting with a title and so that when people are seeing the screen we are just listening to your awesome words that have to do with each slide so those are you know like the introduction slide and comparing your personality type to your opposite and then all of those strengths and weaknesses slides and so forth so um, here is the assignment on Google Classroom right here and like I said the last step that we need is to get those voiceovers um, for those of you who are doing it live you still need to get a transcript turned in it looks like this so um, we recently went over how to do that so on the student side you add a Google Doc and then you can have your 20 slides right here which I will check in class um, so once we have all of your your transcripts written out and, and you know what you want to say now we have to get them onto a voiceover and so there's a lot of ways to do that we have some microphones in class but that can be challenging sometimes because of class noise um, we can go outside with our phones um, so what I wanted to do is show you a couple options uh, for the phone um, if, if that device so um, I realized that we have the Android crowd and the Apple crowd so I've put together a couple screen recordings of both just to give you an idea of what you could do so I will attach those now so for you Android users and congratulations by the way for being an independent thinker uh, you can use so many different apps to do a voice recording but I will show you the one that I use because it has so many great tools. So the one I've been using for a couple of years now is called Voice Recorder. That might even come on the phone. I don't think so, but um, it might. And so this is the one it's called Voice Recorder. And you saw the, what the icon looked like. So you've got your standard feature. You've got an interview feature. Um, so it kind of helps with recording with the different mics and then speech to text is kind of cool so um, what you can actually do is um, kind of do this in reverse so if you wanted to talk for 20 seconds and then it will bring it to text so that you can have your script um, as well and you can kind of play around to see with you know um, what 20 seconds of speech is going to look like and um, what the recording would be so that's that little tool. Um, since I'm doing the screen recording, I don't know that it'll let me record, but let's see if it will. Um, unable because I'm already using it. Yeah, so once you record it, um, there's gonna be a share um, button so that you can email it to yourself or take it to Google Drive, any number of ways to save it. So hopefully in class we can figure that out for you. And that is one way for you to do a voice recorder for your Pecha Kucha um, voiceovers project. All right, so once we get into voice recorder, there are these different options. So the standard option, it's just what it, it's called standard. So you press record, you start talking, and you do your 20 second voiceover, and then you figure out how to get it to your Google Drive so you can save it and then there's a way to share it so i believe on the androids if you do a long press so this one is voice 001 so i'm just going to play it back and you can see what it sounds like on my end before i do that and then i can go back and long press and then save that um, or just check it over to the left there and you'll see the share and on your phone or tablet you can figure out a way where you want to save this and in my case what I've done is taken it over to uh, Google Drive so my VHS Night account and that's being saved now um, in the speech to text section so for you Android people and, and maybe Apple has something similar I'm not sure but I know on this particular one you can actually do a speech to text so that you can record with your voice and it's going to give you the text which is nice so you can do it kind of 
in a backwards way if you're a person that just wants to like start talking and see how many seconds that is. So you, so you can see the voice recording that I did here was a little over 20 seconds. So I would have to actually cut this back by a few words or talk a little faster uh, to get my 20 seconds because that is a hard stop. It has to be 20 seconds and no longer and no shorter on these voice recorders or on these voice overs. So again, you go to save. This one's called a memo because you actually have text and voice. You can check the box over to the left. You can long press, you can share. So it gives you all sorts of options. You can do voice over only. You can do memo plus voice over. So I've chosen to do both so I can have the text as well. And you can copy and paste and put that into your script if that's what you choose to do. Okay, Apple users, uh, pretty similar to the Android way of doing things, but it's going to be a different app. And yes, I believe you have access to a few apps as well, just not as many. Uh, they are different. Are they better or worse? Who knows? Um, but the one that is on the iPads that we use um, for the store and in class is, it's called this voice memo. And once you open it up, um, it's pretty similar. Just click the record button and if I do that now it's not gonna let me because I'm already screen recording oh actually it is going to let me so now you get to see what it looks like uh, so I'm recording my voice and then I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to be done and this so clicking the share button you can email it to yourself or um, save it hopefully to Google Drive and see if that is an option here. If not it might have to be oh here we go. So I'm gonna go to drive that's gonna be an M4A file and I'm just gonna upload that and I'm gonna have my voiceovers it didn't save my name. I might have to do something different to save that. But anyways, this is a way on your Apple phone or iPad that you can record your voiceovers for your Pretty Coochie project.